Hi everyone, it's Brother Paul here. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Not sure what the date is. 28th, I think. I uh, sat down after doing a bit of praying here. And I looked up a prayer I had a few days ago that I originally thought was to me. But it was prompting, the Holy Spirit was prompting me all morning to look at this. So I finally did. And as usual, I thought something and I was wrong. Now here is the wonderful news. This prayer, sorry, this is directed to all of God's daughters. You will understand after I do this dream. So let me tell you what the dream was about. I had a dream where I saw... And ignore the fact that it's people I know. That doesn't matter. This is directed to the girls of the world. So in my dream, <clears throat> I saw my daughter, my youngest. And she was walking with somebody, uh, a tall man, towards the stove. And she, in real life, she's around 10. But in the dream, she was between 1 and 2. Like when little babies kind of wobble walking. It's kind of cute. Anyway, um, this man reached down and I saw this very large hand grab my daughter's hand. And I immediately knew who it was. And it was my father. I have never dreamt of my father. Not even once. And I would never saw his face, but I saw his hands. And my dad grew up on a farm and he had massive hands. So I immediately knew it was him. And for those who are like me that dream uh, the way we do, um, mothers and fathers can represent God, especially fathers represent God. So I'm getting off topic here. So this man who I identified as my father was representing God, walking my daughter to a stove and they were boiling a formula for her <clears throat> and she kind of ran ahead of him. And I said, I heard my voice say, don't, don't get ahead of him, stand beside him. So this, this is when he reached down and he grabbed her by the hand and he, she went obediently beside him and he kind of like gave her like the way fathers always do, you know, mothers always do. They, they pet you on the back of the head and they say, don't worry about it. Now I didn't hear anything, but I, I physically could see this man was comforting my daughter. She looked up, gave him a big smile and she was comforted. And what else here? And she trusted him with all of her heart. So that's how the dream ended. So now let's decipher this. And I will repeat this again. This is directed to all women watching this right now. You might as well take this as God talking to you directly because this is what it says. Number one was fathers. Sorry. <laughs> fathers, I found fatherhood. Proverbs 27, the righteous who walk in his integrity Blessed are his children after him. Number two, daughters. Now, I've used daughters many times, many times in many dreams. I have never been led to this specific scripture before today. Ruth 3, 10 to 12. The Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after the younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all that you ask. And the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble characters. Although it is, although it is true that I am the guardian, redeemer of our family, there is another who is more closely related than I am. Number three, I was looking for boiling formula on a stove. I didn't really know what I was looking, but I was led to a scripture of Matthew 6, 11, and it said, give us this day our daily bread. Regardless of what we're eating and drinking, children have formula. This was the, her daily bread. And there was another one, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. So whatever you eat and drink or whatever you do, do all this in the glory of God. The next one, I was looking for a pot or a boiling, anything you, you know, cooking stuff. I found pot, which was an easy kill 11-3. Which say it is not near, 
let us build houses in this city, is the cauldrons, and we be the flesh. Please reread that one. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. Which say, it is not near, let us build houses, this city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Number five was walk beside him, which was a 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Uh, number six, I was looking for she stayed beside him. <clears throat> and I wrote obeyed, because she was very obedient in the dream. And I ended up finding children obey God, which was in Ephesians 6, 1 to 3. Now listen carefully to this, all the daughters who are watching this. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. That is, it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on this earth. I did not know that. I've read this before. It never st stood out in my mind. This was the first commandment with a promise about honoring your parents. Remember that. Number seven was he comforted her, which was comfort, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And number eight was trust, trust in him. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Now, when I was done this just a few minutes ago, I went into prayer and I said, God, this is a tender subject because I know some of my friends, some of my followers, some of you who just may randomly be picking this up are daughters of God. I wanted to really, really make sure I, I gave the right message from the Holy Spirit to you. And I went into deep prayer and this is what I was told to write. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to receive what I got from the Holy Spirit. Daughters, put your head on my lap and take rest. I have this. I will control all things for you. Amen. This message was given to me by the Holy Spirit to the daughters of God. I love you guys, but God loves you way more. Be blessed and receive this message. I say this as a servant of God. Have a nice day.